Hello, and welcome from Mike's FJR's Corner. I'm Mike, and I'm here with my wife, Lori. It's kind of a murky day here in South Jersey. Cloudy, a little bit windy, damp, it's about uh, 69 degrees. Kind of a typical fall day here. Anyway, we're on our way to the lost city of Amatol and the site of what was once the Atlantic City Speedway. Amatol was a munitions plant that was created during World War I. It was located on the outskirts of Hamilton and part of the Pine Barrens on about 6,000 acres of land. Amatol was being used in creating munitions as a way of extending the supply of TNT. They created temporary housing that was about two miles away from the factory. So what happened? The plant was operational for several months when the war had ended and the plant and town was deserted. Eventually, everything was torn down. What remains is a portion of a few concrete structures, but not much else. In 1926, on the same site, this became the site of a speedway. This was pretty cool. It was about one and a half miles track, 50 foot wide, made of wood. It was banked on the corners about 45 degrees. The track was built to withstand about 160 miles per hour. Using those cars they had back then, that was pretty darn good. They also raced motorcycles there. They built stands that would hold about 60,000 people. The center of the track could handle another 250,000 people. They used about 4.5 million board feet of lumber to create the track, and they used another 1.5 million board feet on the stands. They had a parking lot, they also had a train station, and well, it's pretty cool. So, come with us, and see you there. Yeah, this is it here. Gonna have to turn around. And that was an officer to just pass, wasn't it? There is a, no trespassing uh, in areas, but not where we're going. I actually have to see what that sign says right there. Well, for what I understand, the site is you go past the first part of the speedway, cross it, and the route in the middle. And it's about three quarters away across off to the right is some of the ruins. All right, we're approaching the first leg side of the oval of the racetrack. Which consisted of one and a half miles of oval that went Clearly that way, goes around, makes a right turn, comes around this direction, comes across, all the way down, and then back around through here. Well, obviously that's blocked off in that direction, and somebody dumped their trash here. This was the racetrack, yeah. This is the, yeah, this is where they had, it was 50 feet wide. Um, I don't know if they had the stands on this side or they had the stands on the opposite side. Okay, continue this way. What's that? Oh yeah.
and then more than likely deer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not asking questions. <laughs> nope, there we are. Okay, here we are. Look, look to the right. Kind of a path to it. Okay. Okay, well, this appears to be one building across. You have a uh, fairly thick concrete here tapers inward, I guess to contain any explosions. <laughs> Section of it crumbled there. This whole upper section here collapsed at some point. You okay? You could see along the wall cutouts, which probably had the wood beams that went upward to the upper part of the building, the roof line. If I remember from the pictures, it was kind of barn shaped that went up and over. Yeah, see somebody, somebody looks like they were living here or sitting here or using it as a... Oh, that's a bow, that's a bow case. Yes, somebody was using this as probably for hunting. Now there's two of these buildings. There's another one over there. Well, yeah, I'm gonna walk through to the other side. <laughs> it's okay, there's no spiders. Nah, nothing's going to collapse. Alright, this is a, yeah, this looks like this is still a flooring, the one section was demolished, you could see, can't see it in this side, yeah, because it rained last night, it's damp. Yeah we're, yeah, we're walking on the concrete. 
uh, so this is the flooring and see here's another part of the foundation it comes across and I suspect it came across that way and across this direction okay let's walk over to the other building This one's got the more of the top. It's actually a little taller. This building. Okay, I'll save you from walking through there. <laughs> or I'll walk through and I'll meet you around. No, I'll go this way. What's that? Nope, that's it. And you think this was, there was 6,000 acres of land and buildings, and this is all that's left. Well, the residents were actually two miles away. That was a whole other city that was built. And uh, they didn't, uh, I guess when the town, well, yeah. Well, yeah, that's uh, certain safety restrictions, I guess, to keep it a certain distance away. But they were designed as temporary housing. So when the plant closed, of course, everybody moved out. Then the, um, then what happened is uh, shortly after that, they, they got demolished. And I guess what they couldn't knock down, they left. Duck. You kind of have to find a spot. You could walk over here where it's not as deep. Okay, this is the same thing where it's a got a flooring attached to the back of the buildings, or what looks like the back now. Uh, you can see the bolts sticking out along the so the uh, sill plate, I guess you would call it. Yeah, that's the, you know why when you do construction, the foundation. You have the bolts sticking up and then you put the, uh, you tie it down to the first layer of blocks or cement and then you have rebar in it. All right, so it looks like it extended out to here, came down the side, came across and I can see bolts down that side. It comes all the way across over there. And all these trees grew up right through the concrete. None of these trees are here, no. Like this tree here, grew right through the flooring. So this one, see the rocks? So, you know. Eighty years, ninety years, whatever it is. Nature takes over. Now there's supposed to be a channel, which I don't know where it's at. No, it's not buried because I've seen pictures of it, but I couldn't. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, buried in debris. No, actually, it was fairly open, the pictures that I saw. So I'm not just I'm not quite sure where it's at. It must be in a different area. But in any case, I'm not going to search through the woods for it. Not without knowing which direction to go. And without a GPS, yeah. 
I know the road's back over that way, so. I'm just gonna go out this way back to the other one. Um, be easier to come down over here. Okay, now we're kind of coming in a different direction. Oh, I see the building. Okay. Fortunately, it's not very thick here. I watch it, that's briars. This way. These buildings were pretty much parallel to the road we were on. So, um, looking for where the clearing is. It looks over here. Gotta take this off. I'm gonna walk up to the other end of the uh, of the racetrack. Ready? We were three quarters of the way across. That's not that much further to the other side of the speedway. So this area here, there was no woods. This is where they could accommodate up to 200,000 people in the middle of the track. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, Racetrack went that way and came from this direction. I could see there's a guardrail. I believe there's a road up that way. You up for a walk around? It's about three quarters of a mile. There's a couple wet areas, but uh, we can walk around them fairly easily. So imagine 50 foot wide, wood track. And when you get to the corners, I think it was 45 degree angle bank. So I imagine the corners are probably a little bit wider than the straights. It doesn't look like anything at all now. I wonder why this trench through here. here this ridge must have been part of the structure uh, now we're coming into the bank where the bank curve was so it was probably built off this off this bankment and it goes and goes up from there because that looks cut Now this looks like a sum up of a clearing to the left. But look at the size of some of the trees. And from the pictures, this was all cleared. I'm not sure when it 
closed up. Uh, it wasn't that long. Um, I don't know the exact dates without looking it up. Duck. Mm, I'm gonna go on this side. Right, we're still seeing that embankment. It's shower. We're still still on the curve. Well, this turns that way and then goes that way. I don't think that's originally the way it went. I think it just went straight around the corner. Okay, I can see a house through the way over there. And uh, I see a posting near the house. So that must be private land over that direction. We're almost done the curve, and then we're on the straightaway back. That goes out to the road, I believe, at an angle. I guess it's part of an access road. Now we're down this way. We're just finishing the curve, now we're on the straightaway. On the mill road side. Yeah. This was our first video. Close to home. I promise I won't drag you around the woods on other ones. No, it's not too bad. I mean, but it, it, you know, it is supposed to be a preserve, you know. It is. Somebody pulled down here, dumped it right there, and drove back out. All right, here we are. All right. That was one, one leg of the speedway. I guess that would be, you know, the sun's that direction. That's west, so that's the northwest corner of the speedway. What I understand, it was auctioned off at an auction, and I guess the company sold all of the lumber. Well, if you can imagine how many tons of lumber you probably had building this thing, I mean, that's why they probably had the railway system here is just to get the lumber here. I had to look on the maps. I have no idea where the railroad actually would have came in. Bike still here. One, two, three. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or click on the subscribe link. I will provide links in the description below this video for some history, pictures, and videos for both Wall City of Amatol and the Atlantic City Speedway. I have a few projects that I want to do this fall and I will have more projects starting next spring. So please stop back for more videos and thank you for watching and hope to see you again.